Hey everybody, welcome back to Brown Thumb Nursery. I'm Rob, I'm out here in my little shade house area uh, where I grow out all my uh, my seedlings, well not, well seedlings, but mostly uh, cuttings, uh, propagate all my plants. Um, but anyhow, I've got some seedlings out here of white dinner plate hibiscus. Now I had done a video a while back, this is what I got popping up here. And uh, anyhow, I had done a video a while back about <clears throat> Uh, how to grow a dinner plate hibiscus and it doesn't have to be white. These just happen to be white uh, My good friend slash cousin uh, Matt Hall over who has a YouTube channel by the way Also Matt Hall farms go check him out. But anyhow, he sent me these seeds and um, I did a video a while back Like a year or so ago. I don't know. It's been a while ago probably a couple years ago um, comparing the different methods of starting hibiscus seeds now uh, there's a lot of uh, people saying that you have to like take and take, get sandpaper out there and scratch them, scarify them, or soak them for three days, or do this, do that, the other. Anyhow, I did a comparison video where I did the wet paper towel where you put them in, you know, you dampen away wet paper towel, put it in a baggie, and all that. I did that process, and then I did another process comparing the results. And um, I'll link that video. Um, how am I gonna do that? I'm not very good at this YouTube linking things. Anyhow, I'll try to remember to put it down at the bottom, but anyhow, if not, just put how to grow, do a search for how to grow white dinner plate hibiscus from seed or something. That's in my, that's kind of the title of it. But anyhow, uh, so that's a really good uh, comparison if you're wanting to grow dinner plate hibiscus from seed. Um, and I recommend you go check that out. I'm not gonna go into any of the details of that. But here I've got a tray of seeds that I just uh, just started, you know, it's probably been a couple weeks ago now and they're they're up. I like to get them um, where they're germinated and got some leaves or whatever. And then I take and um, pot them up individually into their own pot. If you leave them too close together like this, they'll kind of, you know, kind of crowd each other out and kind of kill each other off, actually. They'll kind of fight for survival or whatever. But anyhow, so I just thought I'd do a, just a quick video showing you kind of how I pull these brand new sprouted seeds, basically, or seedlings, um, and put them in a pot. Pretty simple. Okay, I just want to interrupt this broadcast to make an announcement. <laughs> no, seriously, I do want to interrupt and say um, I'm done now, and I've got them all potted up out of this tray and I thought it'd be fun everybody stop pause the video and go guess how many I got I'm gonna put the I'm gonna do a little scan of the uh, video of the plants that I've got potted up there and put it at the end so you can uh, uh, put your guess in now don't go peeking at other people's guesses and don't skip to the end don't be cheating God's watching so <laughs> anyhow I thought that'd be something fun to do put your best guess in there uh, let's see who wins. Hey, you know what we ought to do is whoever wins gets a uh, gets one of these plants. We'll have to figure out how to get to you, but yeah, here we go. Now, obviously, this is not rocket science. I mean, you uh, might not even uh, feel like you need to watch this, and that's okay. I understand that. But so uh, these are seedlings. They just got. They're just starting to get their first true leaves. And let me kind of get you down there where you can see those. Um, but I like to take each one, and you can do them before they get their first true leaves if you want to. But let me get it, go ahead and uh, get a little pot. And these are little, they call this a four inch pot, but it's actually measures about three inches to the top. So I don't know, three or four inch pot, whatever you want to call it. But anyhow, go ahead and get some soil in there. And I just like to go in and grab each one individually. And you can see, uh oh, I, I got two. Well, let me just kind of bring it up there so you can see. You see that there's roots. I got two. I'm going to separate those out and uh, very carefully because I'll pop that one up as well. So I'm trying to not disturb the roots. See that? I'm going to trying to leave a little clump of the soil with it. I poked a little little uh, hole down in there, a little indentation. Now I'm just going to kind of go and um, very carefully and gently. Um, Fill in some soil around there. Just, you know, use whatever potting soil you use. Just kind of tuck it in there very gently because those roots are very tender. So that's it. And then, um, well, let me just do a few of them. Well, actually, I have a little tray over here. I'll set them in. 
So I got this one here already, already pulled out. So I'll get that one in there. And that one don't look as nearly as good. See that one, how puny it is, but, and you just never know which one's gonna make it or not. So you kind of gotta go and do the best, you know, do them and hope for the best. Get it kind of tucked in around there very gently. And this potting soil is moist. I always keep it moist. Plus it rained yesterday. So. Okay, so give me, grab another one here. All right. Yeah, a little bit of roots sticking out there. Just stick it in there gently. Kind of pull them out. Okay, now looky here. Looky here. I don't know if you can see. Up, let me get you. Carry it right up to you. See this one right here? Right over here in this corner? This here is a seed that's just sprouted. So I'm going to kind of pull that up there. See that? That's the seed that's just sprouted. And it's kind of turned up sideways probably because the rain, you know, washed it out. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in to this pot. Try to put that root facing down and just kind of tuck it around. Some soil just around it and try, you know, because it's basically just a sprouted seed. Now it can push on up through. So call that good there. So, and I'll probably see several of them that are basically just sprouted seeds because they, you know, all seeds don't, um, so here, here, look at that. See that one there? How it's just sprouting down? Just kind of, whoops. Just got the roots, tap root kind of sprouting down and it's just sprouting up. So, but anyhow, that's a, that's a potential plant. So we're going to pot that up. Kind of stick a little finger hole there. Kind of tuck it in. That's it. I mean, you know, just that's it. So... I'm going to get a couple more here. Boom. That's it. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. So I told you this is going to be a short video. Um, just, and you, you know, you can do that with a lot of different seeds. I can, I do that with like my tomato seeds, my pepper seeds, where I pot up a bunch of, or sow a bunch of seeds in one of these little trays and I can get a hundred, hundred plants in one little thing rather than, you know, having to take up a whole bunch of space. But anyhow, these white dinner plate hibiscus, um, I'm going to get with my cousin Matt and have him send me a couple pictures of his and I'll do a little show a couple pictures on here and these are going to be his pictures so <laughs> copyright disclaimer there uh, these are Matt's pictures because uh, I haven't grown any completely out to where they bloom good I got I had one that grew in fact I got a couple of them that are growing about to bloom but anyhow I just wanted to do this quick video but just enjoy these uh, few pictures and get you some dinner plate hibiscus uh I mean, we've got some for sale, not this particular one because they're quite not, not quite grown yet. But these will probably got, gonna have about a hundred of them for sale, you know, probably next year because these will be next year's plants to sell. But uh, man, I just love those dinner plate hibiscus. They got the big old blooms and some of them have the smaller about six inch and I love those. And they're just so beautiful. And it's kind of one of my fav favorite plants now, my favorite flowers. Um, but get you some and start saving seeds because you can grow hundreds of them and um, man, just plant them all over the place. I mean, what's better than that, right? So anyhow, that's it. That's literally it. I just wanted to kind of show you that and uh, hopefully encourage you to get out there, save some seeds from lots of things, not just the dinner plate hibiscus, but save seeds, grow your own uh, plants and pot them up, grow them out and just enjoy life with flowers. 
thanks for hanging out with me and i'll catch you on the south side god bless okay guys there's 10 per tray i've got here's you can see i got two trays back there four six eight ten eleven plus five so we got 115 right there so hopefully we have a winner wouldn't that be cool if somebody guessed it right on